What's going on, you? Welcome back to the Cigar Ralphie, and today we're going to watch a new trailer for Halloween. If you've never seen Halloween, and this is your first time seeing Halloween, uh, or it's going to be your first time or whatever, Halloween is a classic in the horror film genre. If you're into horror movies, this is one of the horror franchises, um, especially the first the second and the third, I want to say the fourth. There was one that didn't have to do with Michael Myers, which really, which it was still good to me. I don't know, but it just blew my mind that Mike was not in there. But anyway, this is one of the franchises you have to watch. This is one of the, this is one of the ones like the like the Nightmare on Elm Streets and uh, and the uh, Friday the Thirteenth franchise. You know that you have to know about if you're into horror movies. You know what I mean. The Hellraisers and all the other, all the other horror movies, Pumpkinhead. I'm I'm going way into it. Anyway, new trailer for Halloween, which they remade again. They remade it. I I liked the remake that Rob Zombie did. I liked it. I don't know. It, to me, it was good. But anyway, let's go ahead and watch this trailer for the new Halloween. And I think this is. I think this is a remake of the. I don't know if this is a remake. Anyway, anyway, let's watch this trailer and then I'll see what it is. Trick or treat. Ooh, Bloomhouse. It's gonna be good. Which one should we go to? They're all spooky. I'm gonna pick that one over on the street. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did she not see this guy? 40 years ago, on Halloween night, Michael Myers murdered three people. After that horrific night, he was sent back to the institution in captivity. Classic kitchen night. I have the song. Every night that he would escape. I haven't heard the classics, the classic melody yet. Did you do that for? Ooh. So I can kill him. The bus crashed. Michael Myers escaped. He'll return to Haddonfield, his home. I need to protect my family. You have no security mm. system, Karen. Mom, you need help. Evil is real. There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this life. I've been preparing for this for a long time. It is not oh safe to be on the street today. I'm such a horror nerd. He's here. He is yes. a killer. But he will be killed tonight. Happy Halloween, Michael. So if you've never seen, if you don't know anything about the Halloween franchise, you know the Halloween movies, uh, you need to go check out the original. But to better, but to kind of give you a little brief, little brief, you know, synopsis, I texted one of my, one of my buddies, um, who's uh, the owner or the, the guy who runs Black Nerd Radio uh, podcast. Go check out that podcast on iTunes. Um, and I think he's still on, on SoundCloud, but go check him out on iTunes. He's different on iTunes. Um, and he's a horror buff. He's also a filmmaker. Uh, and you know, he's, well, 
you'll hear his explanations and you'll hear him talking. And I'll let him explain exactly what Halloween is. The Rob Zombie remake made him like a troubled kid and had a shitty home life. Just basically made him a white trash family, you know. <laughs> and uh, But the actual origin for his uh, evil, I guess, the very beginning of the first one, you, you know, the first five minutes is his perspective so uh you see him kill his you know his sister and uh go away and then break out so he supposedly had a uh just a regular good home life but he was supposed to be the embodiment of evil like if evil turned itself into a human it became a sentient you know thing an actual entity that was kind of the whole purpose. It was like, and that was part of the mystique. I mean, all the sequels managed to kind of fuck that up with adding, adding all this other lore, like the cults and stuff, which is cool stuff. And he's basically supernatural in these, you know, in these later movies, it seems. But um, he was just a guy who uh, was just born and just raised evil, just from birth, just a void. That's kind of why this new Halloween that's coming out is a direct sequel to one. It is ignoring two through, I guess if you count the Rob Zombie films, through through seven or eight. So it's ignoring all of those other movies and it's a direct sequel, which is 40 years later from the first movie. I am a you know, total horror nerd. This one, so I my... my Ex- expectations of a really good Halloween sequel is low. I don't have high hopes. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Bad to okay. I don't think it's going to... I, 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 and I hope I'm wrong, because I own yeah, all too. these movies, multiple copies, because I'm a fucking sucker. But uh, <laughs> I hope I'm. I hope it's awesome. But I think it's just going to be, oh, that wasn't bad, you know? That's where we're at with these movies, you know? We're just hoping that it doesn't, it isn't terrible. It's, it's kind of giving up hope that they're going to be great or good. It's just let's hope it doesn't suck. He does have a point with the with with the with, and you know I I believe with the whole change of uh, generation you know with generation things change it's just a whole thing just a whole aspect a whole outlook on things you know uh, and there's a lot of factors that play into this. Um, you know, into the, 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 the change of the feel of the horror movies. It's not the same, the, the horror movies from the 80s, from the 70s, the 80s, are not the same from the ones in the 90s and then, and, and you know, this generation. They're not the same at all. It doesn't have the same, it's not the same feel. And as far as this character here, uh, with the Rob Zombie movies, Ro- what Rob Zombie did was he kind of, he kind of said, you know, he didn't steal anything, but he was just like, hey, can I borrow this character? You know, can I, can I borrow this concept and he put his own spin on it which is where the original recording of this video after the reaction I this is re-recorded um, after the reaction because I originally said his origins but I used the Rob Zombie origins and I don't want to throw anybody off okay you got it there's different versions of it and you got to watch the original one to kind of see and that that's what Damon was talking about um, uh, was you know his original origins the original original from the first time he ever came out that nobody knew who he was this the the you know they uh, other things happened throughout the years when they had sequels you know they changed this you know other things happened so you, you know season of the witch and all that stuff I think that they're that the route they're going with this is for a new generation to Re- reopen him to like kind of rediscover him you know to rediscover Michael Myers because I'm pretty sure that they will tell a story of kind of for maybe a couple of minutes just so you kind of know you know kind of a a, um, a recap of his origins you know what I'm saying so that's where we are with that I hope it's still good man that's all I can say all right anyway let me know what you guys think let me go if you, if you know you guys watch horror movies if you've been watching movies or whatever or if you got a trailer or something or music i love reacting to music uh you know i love hip-hop rock uh, uh metal whatever any kind of music i don't care anything you want me to react to let me know anything crazy anything scary let me know in the comments below or on my twitter or anything and with that being said don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on social media 
and I'll see y'all on the next smoke. Thank you.